what's going on? Sonic Tifa here, and today I will be opening up these Jack Specific Super Mario, Black Yoshi, and Magic Koopa figures. Or Kamek, if you prefer calling them that. Package has both names. But yeah, anyways, enough of the chatter. Let's get these guys opened up and take a closer look at them. Before we take a look at the figures, I'm also just going to show the back of the packaging for the figures. Here is Black Yoshi's. This is one of the newer waves, which also included Lemmy. I already have Lemmy, and I opened him up before I started making waves again, so he will not be getting a video in this style, unfortunately. But most of these figures are repeats. Only Black Yoshi and Lemmy are new. Fire Luigi and Shy Guy are like among the first figures Jack's made when this was still a Nintendo line. And this Mario has also been re-released multiple times with different items, and I have him as well. Actually, so I have all these. So cool. And we will take a look at Magikoopa or Kamex packaging. This is an older figure. I think this released like sometime last year, but I didn't get him. And I saw him on Amazon recently for the retail price, so I decided to grab him. There's that Mario again with a different mushroom. And there's also Mario Cappy, who I don't have. I actually don't have any of these except for Magikoopa and technically that Mario. So we'll have to look for these three at some point too. We will push Magikoopa to the back for now and focus on Black Yoshi. Here is Black Yoshi's accessory, a Yoshi egg, which is just like all the other Yoshis, except this time it's a Black Yoshi egg. So here is another Yoshi egg for the collection. Awesome. We will compare Black Yoshi to those other Yoshis in the back in a minute, but first we will show a closer look at Black Yoshi himself. It's the same sculpt as all the other Yoshis back there, just with a different paint job. Black Yoshis normally have white shoes, so that is accurate to the character design. Black Yoshi's articulation is also the same as the other Yoshis. His head can twist to the left and right, all the way back. <laughs> I like doing that. His arms are ball jointed, they can go to the side, they can go up and down whatever you want to do. And his legs can also, they can go kind of to the side and they can also go up and down at an angle. Pretty good articulation for Yoshi figure. It's not as much as the other Mario characters because they don't have elbow joints, but that's okay. Their, their arms are already at a bit of an angle and I don't always need elbow joints on a figure, so that's perfectly fine. So here is another look at Black Yoshi and all of his friends. As you can tell, they're all pretty much the same sculpt. The only thing I really noticed, aside from the paint job, is the eyes are a little bit different on some of these. You can probably tell. Maybe. It's not super noticeable. I actually just noticed it myself, so I wanted to point it out. But yeah, this green Yoshi was in the very first wave back when it was still a Nintendo line. Then I believe Pink Yoshi was next. I don't remember when it came out, but I believe Pink Yoshi was their second Yoshi. And Red Yoshi might have been the third one. And I'm assuming the Light Blue Yoshi followed after that. And I know, I already mentioned earlier, there's a Yellow Yoshi that was in the same wave as Mash Koopa, which I don't have. And they just very recently released an orange Yoshi in the scale, which is in the same set as Larry. I don't have any of the new figures from this new set yet. So I just have these. I don't know if there's any other colors. I just know yellow and orange are the other ones they've made. I don't know if there's a dark blue. I don't think there's a white Yoshi in this scale yet. They made them in the smaller scale. Now it's time for Magikoopa which I'm probably just going to keep calling him Kamek throughout the rest of this video. These I usually just call him Kamek. Kamek is the singular character, and Magikoopa is the species, but Kamek looks just like any other ordinary Magikoopa, just that Kamek sometimes rides a broom, but this one doesn't have that, so I guess he could be Magikoopa, whatever you want to call him. But anyways, his accessory is his magic wand, which is really cool. It's not the same mold as the Koopaling wands. So Kamek, Kamek, Magikoopa. <laughs> I told you I'm going to keep calling him Kamek. So he doesn't have like a ton of articulation. I, yeah, his head doesn't move, which I'm assuming that has to do with the way that his robe and hat were 
sculpted. That's a bit of a bummer. But his arms are on a ball joint. They can move up and down to the side. And I think his wrist can move. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see it with my thumb over it, but yes, his wrist can move. That's really cool. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And he does have his sh his feet visible under here, under his robe, but I don't think these can move. No, they can't. I know on the Shy Guy figure that you can see under his robe and you can move his shoes, but you can't with Kamek Magikoopa. So there we have it. That is the end of this video showcasing the Black Yoshi in Magikoopa figures by Jack Specific. This gives me some Yoshi's Island vibes, so I will ask you guys, what is your favorite Yoshi game? Is it the original Yoshi's Island, or do you like one of the newer games, like Yoshi's Woolly World, or maybe even Yoshi's Crafted World? Another thing I'd like to add before ending this video is that this will probably be the last figure video I make in this type of style. I've been thinking about it, and I think I'll prefer making more in-depth figure reviews instead of this a more unboxing video style, if you even want to call it that. So the next figure related video that I'll post, whenever that will be, probably going to be a more in-depth figure review instead of this kind of unboxing style video that where we just kind of like take a quick look at each figure. But once I do have this video up, my main priority is going to be finishing up that updated Koopaling plush guy video because I am working on that. I've already started the script. So that's going to be the main priority. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and maybe like this video if you really want to. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links for all those are in the description. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.